Let's light this up. There we go. A little bit of light. And I cooked a chicken not too long ago. Let's grub out with this so it doesn't go off. And we're feeling good. Could use a little bit of something to drink. Drink until enough. We may as well. So welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Miss Survival. As you'll see right now in the top left corner there, day number nine. I've taken a couple of days just to get situated with everything we needed around the base area. I've not built up anything in terms of defenses. I've just gone back to the towers like I said I would before and I've collected some of the lockers. I didn't actually know you could pick these red ones up, but I tried it and now it works. I don't think it ever used to, but I did pick like, I think it was one of them up and then I made three more. I've also made this type of locker as well, which keeps all my weapons in. If you do want to look what's through them, I'll quickly go through them. This is basically all my ammunition for arrows and things like that. I'm going to take these today, so let's grab hold of them. And this one is just tools and stuff. This one is just anything in between, like sewing kits, duct tape, salt that I've been using. And this is components and scrap. Back here is kind of the to-do list. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone has this. But this box here is for like wood and charcoal and anything that needs organizing. Same with this thing, the baseball bat, the leather. Small tire, I'm not entirely sure what that's for, but I know you can make carts with these, so... I'll have to keep my eye open for that. Battery and the hose pipes. This can be used to make like a, a filtration system for water. But we're doing okay right now, so I don't need to use that. And the tire. Which brings me on to a comment from the previous episode. I apologize, guys. I did miss it when we were in... I believe it was like a gas station. But I'm only human. And sometimes when I'm trying to do this stuff, my mind is racing, thinking about 20 different things. But yeah, I, uh, I appreciate the heads up. But yeah, I'm only human. I'm sorry I made mistakes. <laughs> Top drawer, we got some wood, some rocks, some planks. This is basically all we're needing for this, so I've kept all that in there. Second one, again, just an organization drawer. I'm not sure what the concrete blocks are for. I think I briefly saw the, the recipe for what we can make, but I've just been holding on to them. Oh, there's one downstairs I've just remembered. There. Right, let me go and grab that before I forget. But you can clearly tell what I've been doing. I've just been trying to organize everything so I'm not scrambling through drawers. Oh, actually, let me see if this works. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Let me see if... So a lot of you guys basically said you can kind of speed climb up the ladders. Ah, oh, there we go. It works. Okay, so I did see a lot of people saying it works sometimes and it works sometimes it doesn't. Basically, you'll have to sprint first in order for it to activate, which is weird. But I guess early access is early access. Right, which draw was it? This one. And then just throw that into there. Third draw down, just feathers for when I'm making the different arrows. Oh, the animal hide. Okay, yeah, we need to make the tanning rack tomorrow. And then just some other little bits as well. I've got an idea for the pencils because we are stacking them up and I don't really use them. So I've got a bit of a cool idea that I might integrate survivor notes with messages that I'm using from you guys in the comments into this series somehow. I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do it yet, but if we do that, that could be a cool way of doing it. Obviously, we've got the grill and a fire. And I think that's pretty much you guys up to date. I did go back and get a second workbench as well. One down there and then one outside too. For when we've got other survivors, they can... <gasps> what did that just open? See, that trips me out when it does that. Because that definitely opens something. There we go. I'll show you guys what I've got here. I've got the cooking pot, which, again, gives you access to the meat stew and the vegetable stew. I've never used them, and I don't know if I will, but it's there if I want to. And, of course, the drying rack, which... Yeah, all this is still raw. So, in order to make this, I did have to use the salt to preserve the meat. So, I guess this is just going to wait now in case I want to cook it and everything else. I'm not entirely sure how we make the, uh, like, the beef jerky food. Like, turn it into that. I, I don't know if you just leave it on there or there's a certain way of doing it. I think you can do that. But yeah, we've got some uh, meat preserved in case we want to uh, cook it and eat it. So yeah, we're looking good now. And what time is it? Just gone past midnight, day number 10. So we've burnt a few days, but this was absolutely necessary just to get situated. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to sleep, get nice and refreshed because tomorrow we're cooking something. <laughs> you guys already know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the fire's still like smoldering as well. Oh, that's really cool. I've never caught that before. So we timed it just as we woke up, and let's see how we're doing. Okay, we could do with something to drink, which I don't have. Oh, I have been using this now as well. As you can see, it is safe, and it holds 2.5 liters. Let me just throw you in there. We're looking good as well. I can purify that 16 liters worth. I've still got like 5 liters in there. So we are good for, uh, for water and stuff. This is just extra storage for this. I don't think I need to take anything else. 
I love using the revolver, but I really want to save all that stuff for when I go and take down the camps. Looking like it's going to be a good day too. Oh yeah. All right, so what we're doing today, aside from doing our normal thing of surviving, doing some exploration, finding what we needed for another day to survive, we are going to be taking down, or at least trying to take down, that weird creature in the barn. I'm going to burn that thing up, which should start with the Molotov, and then hopefully I can use the explosive arrows with the recurve bow. Because still, I'm yet to find anything else that looks like a compound bow or being able to make one. I'm, I'm so positive that you could. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to keep on the lookout for that. Right, what do we need for nails? Okay. Right, let's go ahead and make 16 nails. And that should be everything for the tanning rack. And then she's complete. Right, interact. And then I can put the, uh, the hide that we've got. Which is in... I think I've got three pieces of animal hide. So maybe making more. See, that's always the way, though. I'll make, like, three tanning racks. And then once I've used these, <laughs> I won't use them again. Because I won't need all of that leather. I guess it's always good to have it. So let's put you in there. And there we go. It's a beautiful thing. And the sun's going to be on it, too. So I don't know if that helps. So <laughs> we'll leave it, though. All right. Now, the last thing before we set out is I wanted to show you guys something. Just in case you run into this issue, obviously, early access is early access. You've got to expect bugs. So... In the previous episode, I said that I was missing a spark plug. And I know I didn't misplace it anywhere. It just basically up and vanished. Well, the reason for that is this drawer here, this space, for some reason, it was there. Basically, after I went through all of these drawers, organized and everything, I realized there was one square that seemed to have something in it. And it was basically this, but it wasn't showing with the item. So I don't know if that's because there's been an update in between our save and it's causing some weird things, but it was in there all along and I just didn't see it. So at least we've got the spark plug now, but we do need a jerry can. And I know I'm pretty sure I've seen one at a gas station, but because we're here and we've got the, uh, the stuff in order to make it, I might just go ahead and do that. I've got the supplies. Jerry can, craft yourself. And we're still early in the morning as well, so we've still got plenty of the day ahead of us. I've also still got all this stuff, which I have no idea how to use yet, but I will get into it. Right, so we got the jerry can too. <gasps> Guys, we're finally almost there with the truck. And there's a few cars around this area as well that I can siphon quite a lot of fuel out of as well. So let me get situated and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Oh, this is going to feel so good to be able to clear one of these things out. Just get a little bit more revenge, you know? Look at that. Ugh, it's disgusting. Right, let's grab the Molotov, gas mask on, and let's light this thing. Burn, you son of a bitch, burn. I really hope this gets rid of the, uh, the green stuff. Oh, it did, nice. So we've completely cleared this area out now, and we can use this as a base if we want to. Let's just take a minute to have a look around, see if there's anything that we want to use. We got a bucket in here, we got more of the powder detergent. More things that we can use to store water in or make molotovs with, some scrap. Rags. Yeah, this place is looking good. Do I need that for anything? No, I've seen another one of those, and it, it made it look like we could use it for, uh, for the cart, but I don't think that's the case. Anything up top? Buckets, barrels, frying pan. I would definitely take that. Find some eggs, cook them up. Some components. I heard a chicken over there as well. Finding something like this as well would be such a huge find, like a mattress. Especially seeing as though we're like sleeping in a barn right now. I'd definitely take that. Oh, more gloves. I'll leave them there for now. But yeah, that's a massive win. Oh, some milk. <laughs> Could you imagine how good that would taste? Well, probably not now. I don't know if that's off, but that's actually a huge win for us. We've uh, we've taken down that blob. We know how to take them down now. I wonder if we should head over to the other barn and just see if we can do that with the explosive arrows. Or if we actually need fire. Because you would imagine the explosive arrow would cause fire, right? But I don't know if that's going to be the case. Fill the can. That's a nice 2.21 liters that we're going to take there. That's more than enough for at least getting the truck going. Let's put the fuel inside this so she's ready to go. 
Can we keep that in there? I wonder if we can just leave that in there. That way it's just not occupying a space. And fire her up. Let's hear up her. Oh, there she goes. Oh, easy does it. No, no, I don't want to break this thing. So, I will let you guys know. Before all these updates came along, sometimes being in the car was a death trap. <laughs> because... At a moment's notice, if you hit a different part of the terrain that he didn't like, this thing would just flip. And I mean flip. And it was so, so scary being in the vehicle. There's a weird motion blur when I'm inside it. I don't think I can get rid of that. Yeah, hopefully in time they'll they'll get round to doing that, but let's pull up here, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be another blob. Yeah, that's what I thought was the footsteps. No no, turn off. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I'm going to use one of the explosive arrows because I want to see what it's like. Is that one different? Let's just do it. Stand back a little bit more. Okay, it made a lot of noise, but I think we may need the Molotovs in order to get rid of that, so I don't want to waste another one. Oh, did that just self-heal? Switch out to these. Duct tape. Let's grab it. Trying to make a mental note of what I need certain things for. Oh, there's another workbench there. This is interesting too. This. Oh, there we go. Some food. Another battery, which we'll put in the car. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Whoa! Give me that. That's a new shotgun. Let's switch this out for that. I know I'm just kind of in a barn with some kind of... Oh, this thing looks amazing. I think you call this type of shotgun over-under, if I remember right. Oh, yeah, we'll rock this for a minute. Actually, no, no, no. Let's switch back to the uh, to the arrow. There's nothing in these. So, yeah, we've got another workbench if we want to take that. And it looks like we're going to need a Molotov in order to take that thing down, which is fine. We just need to find the booze. I'll check if there's any bars or anything in the area. I hate the fact that there's, like, pieces of animal and human in that it's, it's horrible some people were saying as well after i took down some of the uh, infected that i didn't pick the arrows up when it comes to this stuff these things here i really don't care about leaving these behind guys if it was something else like a, a carbon arrow or something like that then i could understand but yeah i'm not too worried about that sold onto the tire oh tomato sauce can and that's everything right what about up here no oh <gasps> Really don't want to be breaking my leg. I wonder if that's an actual water tower that I can use. Let's have a little peek over this side. Yeah, we can get down this way. What's that? Some jeans. Helmet. Should probably pick that up. Can't really store that in there without putting the uh, the storage in the back. Right, I'm going to leave... Ugh, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. It's like burnt flesh. I'm going to leave that open. Oh, tomato seeds. It'd be cool if you could get actual pumpkins as well. Yeah, I really do. I know I keep saying it, but I really do need to get into the crop stuff. Get all that going. Right, so that's that done. I guess I need booze for that. So I think we just continue on. Right, let's use this engine off. I wish you could keep the engine... Whoa, wait, what did that just say? Turret station? <gasps> oh! The 50 cal. So we can mount a turret to this. Wait, that's already in the game? Oh my god. So you can actually put... Oh, that's going to be so cool. If there's going to be... Oh, I suppose doing that against the bandits might be death because I've got to pull up in front of them. But that's, that's kind of taking me by surprise. I didn't think that was a thing yet. I'm actually quite shocked at how much has been added to this. Whoa. Didn't that one have the five liters? Maybe it's that one there. But yeah, I'm actually quite shocked at how much we've got in this. It's, um, it surprised me how far along everything is. Was this the can? Yeah, there we go. Second jerry can. And 2.61. Fill the can. Ooh. Oh no, no. No, no. See, this is where the truck comes in so useful. Put our lights on. 
We want to get back home. We don't want to be messing around with the mist. I don't know if the uh, if the infected try and attack my vehicle while the mist is here. So let's just tuck her up while we can. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of those chicken legs on the go. Don't I have some... Yeah, there we go. Four firewood. Throw you into there. And, yeah, she's looking good. Ignite. Come on, please. Ah. Oh. And again. Nice. So you're going to want to keep an eye on these because they can burn really, really easily with them being directly over the fire like that. So I'm just going to watch these and wait for them to actually turn a nice color rather than completely burnt through so I can grub out. There we go. So let's get rid of all these. Oh, listen to that sizzle sound. Look at that. You can see when you hover over it, it says, well done. I think that's like the perfect way to cook the food and get the most out of it. So eat that. Look at that chicken drumstick. Oh, yeah. God, I bet that tastes so good as well. I'm just going to eat all of these. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to use what's left of the day, which is like, what, nearly 2 o'clock now? Just to do some recon on these guys. Use the hours that we've got, right? So there's one there. More than likely got an automatic weapon. There's no way it's just one. Not seen any more. I think they're sat on a cave here. Yeah, they've got this perimeter all locked up, but this is a key. Oh, there we go. I saw a second one underneath. Is it two? See, I'm so tempted just to take the shot right now, but I really, really don't want to get exhausted to the point where I start slinging arrows their way, trying to rotate around them, and then I just get completely exhausted, slow down, and then they catch me with a stray bullet. So, yeah, let's just keep it simple for now. Do some recon. And so far... We've got one with an automatic weapon. A second one looked like he was swinging his arms. That doesn't mean he's not got anything on his back, though, so. Is that the hunting rifle? No, that's a shotgun. Put some kind of banner out front, too. So we've got one behind this, uh, this caravan here, and then one down there. Don't think, yeah, there's nobody posted up on that. So we've only got two in this area. Ooh, where are you going? He looked like he was scanning the top of the uh, the rocks there. All right, what time are we on? All right, let's slowly head back then. All right, good to know. So what we gathered from that was there's two of them, one with a shotgun, one with a fully automatic rifle. Two in total, no sniper, and it looks like there's a cave. That's the biggest problem right now because I've got no intel on what's going on in there. So just to fill you guys in on what I did after I made it back home, I realized I still had a couple of hours left before I actually needed to get to sleep. So I decided to make a secondary cooking pot from the one that we already brought over there, which is like on the kind of tripod thing. Now, if you don't know, you can actually render animal fat, specifically what we got from the bear, and make biofuel with that. So I decided to do that so I would have some in case I wanted to make fire arrows rather than constantly looking for booze. Day number 11, 7 o'clock in the morning. Is this thing done? No, 49%. Okay, yeah, it takes a long time to finish that up. But I was a little bit busier than I wanted to be last night. And that was purely because I was just gathering everything that I needed around the base to make these. Now, heads up, this is going to look really, really silly because of the way it actually sits in the vehicle. But as far as I know, these are the best things to use currently, right now in Mist. And I've gone ahead and made two of them. We're going to finish this one up together. Oh, I might need... Oh, no, there we go. We're good. So we've got three of them now that can go in the back of the vehicle. It is going to look, again, really, really jank because they're just going to be stood up in the back of the uh, in the bed. But if we can just imagine, like, we've got this whole ratchet strap system that secures everything in place, then it, it won't look too bad. Okay, so as far as I can tell, this is the best that we're going to get it. I can't get that center one all the way back in there and it kills me, but I guess it's fine. And once again, if we can imagine like we've got like a whole system of ratchet straps and things like holding this in place, 
then I guess it's not so bad. Just let me have a look and see what that would look like. Maybe in the back. This has nowhere near the space. Can I put that like there? Maybe. Like that on the edge. But if I find more lockers, I'm going to want to try and slot that in. So I guess that's not really worth it. Yeah. I mean, that's the only I saw so far, which I'm sure we can put up with. But at least we got the space now. Okay. Let me go and arm up. Yeah, when it's far away, it doesn't look too bad. Imagine that's going to play hell with the suspension, though. <laughs> Once we start putting things in there, this really just flattens everything out. Okay, so I think we're about as ready as we're ever going to be. So slot number one, we've got the M4 with the attachments on, looking really, really slick. I love the look of this thing. I don't know what it is, though. i got to be honest. I think this thing would look amazing with a sling and some kind of animation where you can throw it over the back of your shoulder. The same with, like, a hunting rifle, too. It would look so good. Second slot, we got the uh, the brand new shotgun that we got, and this thing carries two shells in it now. Slot number three, we got the revolver, and this thing hits really hard. I've only got five rounds in it, but I think that's all I'm going to need as a backup. And slot number four, we have the bow and arrow, which I'm actually just going to throw these in. So let's go to the quiver, add arrows. We'll use those for backup, and we'll put those in. And we'll switch to these ones as well. So if we go slot number one now, and then slot number four... They're ready to go. Okay, so I think it's now or never. We've left it quite a long time since we've been surviving, almost like two weeks. And these guys have been living in our area. Super dangerous. They've got to be cleared. So I'm going to make the journey over there. I'll see you guys in a second. Wait, there's three now. All right. Maybe I should try doing this a little bit quieter than I originally thought. Got plenty of rounds in the M4. I have absolutely no chest protection with a vest, so I'm going to try and stay hidden as much as possible. I mean, three isn't that much of a problem. If three of them had automatic weapons, then it might be, but ooh. Ooh, this could be good. Wait, let's wait till they get close. So they can all cross paths together. That would be perfect. Ooh, this might be it. This might be it. Oh my god. Switch back. Got him. Where you going? Where you going? Did that hit? Careful now. A little bit to the right. God, this thing is not accurate. There we go. All right, we're all right. Took a whole bunch of them down. Those arrows were so, so good. I don't know what I'm going to need in terms of range, so let's stick to the M4. Could be some of them hiding out. Definitely want to check their bodies too. That was a lot of noise as well. That one that was hiding behind the truck, just firing off shots. That's gone really well for us. Right, let's be careful. Don't get too confident. Behind cover. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there might be a lot more in there. Oh, this is... Okay. Oh, we got a carrot and an apple. I, I'm able to check their backpacks now and their pockets. Ooh, okay. That's a nice new addition. What fuel do we have in these? Oh, 4.5. Oh, yeah. We're taking that too. Let's just quickly hop in here. I know this isn't the best idea. Just grabbing what I can while I remember. What do you have in your pocket? Nothing. I really, really do like that, by the way. What did you drop there? Assault rifle broken up. Give me that. My arrow. Again, not really too worried if I leave those wooden ones behind. It's the other stuff that I really care more about. Give me the clothing. Shotgun shells. Candy bar. The gunpowder I'm going to leave to last as long as I've got, like, uh, space for it. Last one. Another helmet and backpack. Another filter. Wait, that can stack, right? Nice. Pocket, nothing. There was nothing in their pockets, though. That's weird. Okay, so maybe that's a special item that we can get. Some food. Oh, we're already stacked. I'm just double, triple checking. You can imagine I'm super paranoid right now. What's in this? Oh, okay. Some tactical gloves. 
hold on to those. I'll come back for all of this. I'm just... Ooh, nice. I'm just grabbing hold of stuff that I might need. What do we look like now in terms of space? But we've got one more line to go. We're doing good. All right, we've got to go into the cave. It's now or never. If there's going to be anyone hiding in there, it's going to be to my left, I think, based on what the cave looks like. Right, let's switch to the shotgun. Don't have any flashlights because I need batteries. Cage over there. Oh, there's someone in it. We're good. I think we're good. Yeah, this is probably where they, they rotated shifts for sleeping. This was their uh, their stronghold. What's this? Empty metal case. Oh, this will have a code in it. I remember this with the motel. 1910. Got it. We can't take this. This is, uh, this is just going to be left there. Okay, right. We can break that open. Oh, look at all the goodies. Yes. Shells, food. Right, let me uh, let me just break this open. Maybe they can help. I'm not entirely sure who that is. All the food is left everywhere. More rounds. I can't carry that. What's that? 762. Let me put... Oh, a Molotov. Nice. I can clear the, uh, the other barn out as well. Let me put that in there. You okay in there? Wait, who are you? Right, it was... 19... 10. You okay? Wait, you're not infected, right? I don't think so. She looks human. Rescue. Gion? Okay, so I think this person's name is Gion. Take Survivor back to base. Who are you? Uh, I'm here to help. Wait, interact with Gion or Carrier? Follow me. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Are you okay? Carry. Oh, we're such a hero. Look at this. Right, let's get Gion over here. I know bringing her out like this might not be the smart move, but I think I'm going to bring the truck down. It should be over there. I can pretty much get down there. Take a load off, Gion. Can I place you down? You're going to be okay? That's a new character. I've not seen this person before. If I remember right, one of them was called... Oh, no, you're going to follow me. No, no. Can I make you stay there for a second? Interact. Oh, I can't make you stay there. Are you okay? I think I've just got to keep asking that. Right, Gion, I've just got to go and get the truck. Stay there. No, wait. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, wait, what? Oh, maybe she snuck up behind me then. And just got in the truck. That's so cool as well. I can travel around with someone now. All right, Gion. You take a load off and you wait there, okay? Oh, is she going to stay there? You're really injured. I wonder if I can help fix you up, like get you back to normal again. Okay, so this is where all this stuff comes in. So let's just offload everything. I can arrange all of this when I get back home. Uh, anything that I can eat. Yeah, let's just grub out on this real quick. What time are we on? I know I took this early on so we won't have to worry about anything i mean all things considered the way that went i don't think it could have turned out better especially with there not being anyone inside that cave we took the opportunity of them all being in the same place and then just use that explosive arrow and it really really paid off i really hope i can help you out all right let's just focus on getting all this back home what was that empty metal case maybe we can put 50 cal in that then if we can craft that up we got another molotov I'm definitely going to keep hold of that and use it. Some food there. I'll keep that on me. Aside from that, yeah, we got the fuel in this. Oh, I've got so much fuel as well now. Today was a win. A big, big win. We've got a new friend that can help around the camp. I'm not exactly sure what her skill will be. Because if I remember right, the other uh, survivors, they do have that. All right, components. What's this again? 45. I can use this too. Oh, can I put that back in the truck? Yes. Let me just throw you down there so so i know to uh, to bring it with me and then i can pick this up too okay so i don't need to open it first let me just put you there and 
you there as well. I'm not sure if this is intentional, that we're able to move this stuff, but I'm going to do it anyway, because obviously I need it. I'm probably going to get rid of that as well. There we go. All right, let's break this open. I'm hoping for a vest. That's really what we need right now. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a vest. What's that? Oh, high quality metal scraps, a gear, chocolate bar, soda, a whole bunch of 50 cal, another ammo, and another battery as well. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so good. Let's put all of that in there. Battery, 50 cal, all the ammunition. We'll equip you. And get rid of that. <laughs> I think it's Gion. I want to say Gion because if it wasn't the Y and it was an L, I'd say Leon. Oh, we go. <gasps> EXP S5. Wait, does that go on the M4? Or is there an MP5? Oh, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Right, arrows, another explosive arrow. Perfect. And I can't, yeah, I can't take that as a backpack. All right. Let me close you up. Modify and then sights. Oh, so all we need now is the magnifier. This thing is almost fully decked. Give me that. What does it look like? Wait. Oh my god. This thing looks so good. Wait, what's a magnifier then? Is it just the uh the extra sight that you get instead of this hollow one? Oh <gasps> what? Oh my god. Broken machine gun. Parts for vehicle customization. Oh so this is the M2, right? This is the M2 Browning. This is what I had in mind. But won't we need like a tripod to mount it or some kind of mounting system? Oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to need another vehicle. Or I'm going to have to swap out the storage in the back of that for this machine gun. Oh, my God. We found such good stuff. Oh, right. We got the fuel in this. What's in that? Is that my arrow? Okay, I'll pick it up because I know somebody's going to get pissed if I don't pick that up. Just checking everywhere. I'm probably going to miss one or two things, but... I mean, on, in the grand scheme of things, this has been such a huge win. We've got a cooking pot there. I'm not going to take that. Anything else? Some components. I'm probably going to need those. It's that firewood. Oh, yeah. I definitely need that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. We're getting real heavy now. What's in this one? 6.39. Oh, and a spark plug as well. Yep. Give me that. Three minutes. We're not even midday yet. God, this is so good. It feels so nice to get a win like this. I mean, we've not been doing too bad, but like a couple of days ago with the whole bear thing, oof, that was rough. You guys already know we were making this pit stop. Let's light this up. Get out of here. Just having a little peek, Gion. There it is. It's gone. And we got another tire there. That's four then in total, so let's grab the firewood. All right, we made it back. So I think what I have to do now with you, G, and let me just carry you up here because that's a little bit of an incline and I don't know if your legs are busted up or if it's just your arm. Oh yeah, you got cuts all over you. Let's just place you there. Well, this is your new home. Just let me, oh, interact, talk. Uh, I guess we officially say hello to her. We just got her out of that place now, so hey. Thank you for saving me. No big deal. Out there, I've had a lot of bad things. And also done cruel things to people as well. Sometimes you have to do what needs to be done to survive. That is true. I hope I can trust you. You can trust me, Gion. We'll see. Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, I mean, I understand that you're a little bit cautious of what, who we are, but we just saved you out of that cage. Okay, so one quick tip that I have gotten from you guys is if I were to find any of the survivors, you guys said to make sure that I click this, teleport to base. Otherwise, they can disappear. So again, I'm not sure if that has been fixed or if it's just a weird bug that some people have, but I did do that. But I've just noticed this. Gion is a mechanic. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but if I show you this, we can actually make a tuning garage. And obviously, when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, that explains all the concrete and stuff we need. I believe we need a blueprint to make that. But if we can actually use the help of Gion to tune these things up or make them custom vehicles, oh my god, that's going to be amazing. But guys, I think with the mist rolling in or it just getting overcast, I think this is where we're going to leave it. It's been such a huge win for us today. And 
We've got a brand new survivor. Hopefully she does trust us and we can prove that to her in time. So for now, if you are enjoying the Mist series, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.